Hello and welcome back to Quartzlight, your car brochure channel. Today, we're going back in time to 58.59 for the Sunbeam Rapier. Welcome back, and if you are into car brochures, please do subscribe, I'm sure there'll be something here for you. So the Sunbeam Rapier, a car produced by the Roots Group between 1955 and 1976. Today's brochure though is for the Series 2, uh, produced between 1958 uh, and 59 um, as a two-door brochure. Um, saloon or hardtop or a two-door convertible as we can see here if i can find it so let's have a look at today's brochure and see what we can see so here we are um like i said uk brochure 5859 this is the series 2 sunbeam rapier uh you can tell this is the series 2 um the series 1 was more of a two-tone car this tended to just have a stripe down it um, which was the same colour as the roof, whatever colour you specified in. Also, these sort of rear wings appeared on the Series 2, and they did change this, this grill on it as well. But the main thing that happened was this new um, one and a half litre engine, referred to as a Rally Master. Um, it was a 1494cc, 73 brake horsepower, claimed top speed 91 miles per hour, which was, you know, a very quick car really at 91 miles per hour. Not to 60, 20.2 seconds. That does sound really slow um, by today's standards. But overall, you know, this is the 50s. Remember, the other thing to notice with these brushes is that. Um, you notice the car is actually drawn rather than being an actual car, which was uh, the norm for this time. Um, later on, like the 70s, all the cars were photographed, but um, as we go to the, the late 50s, early 60s, or into the 60s indeed, most of them were uh, drawn. There are some exceptions, but the majority were just drawn pictures of cars. But anyway, let's have a look at today's brochure. The other thing you'll find with a lot of these early brochures, rather than opening out as a standard brochure, which it looks like it does at first glance, um, a lot of them actually fold out to being posters, so they're like just one sheet that folds out to a, a very large poster style. Um, this also does something slightly different, so we'll have a look at how this opens up as well. So I've had to pull the camera back a bit just to see how it folds out. So we kind of like fold out um, to this very large uh, picture straight away. Some nice graphics though, aren't they? Like I say, all drawn. It was a nice time. It would have been lovely to be one of these um, designers who drew these car layouts um, as they are. And it says the exciting new Sunbeam Rapier powered by the Rally Master engine. And at the bottom there, Sunbeam Rapier, heir to a famous tradition. Beautiful interior, isn't it? I do particularly like that. It's very, very classy and surprisingly a lot of gauges on there as well. Now, the unusual thing about this brochure, like I say, it doesn't continue opening up. It continues opening up in these very large images, which is particularly nice. Although not particularly easy to open because they are such large pages, but... What a beautiful uh, graphic that is. And this one, it looks really very classy in uh, white with the red and the red roof. Like I say, the roof and the line are the colors that matched. This is obviously the uh, hardtop version uh, with a very attractive interior as well, this white. Um, not leather at this time. The Series 1 had a leather interior, but I don't think this actually was leather on the Series 2. Um, the main improvement was, of course, that one and a half liter engine. As we look down, we can get an image of the uh, convertible as well, this time green with a white line. And it says a pedigree for a car for pleasure and action, whatever that means. Um, and then it opens still further. Again, in the same way. And it's showing here uh, um, 
an interior elegance with colour harmony. <laughs> Weird words just thrown in there, like you say. Um, but um, yeah, it does look a very elegant car. At the bottom, in fact here we can actually see it on here, the gear lever was changed on the Series 2. It was column change on the Series 1, so um, that was one of the changes they did as well. Further down, um, it's giving us another nice shot of that interior. I do particularly love it in this white. This must be the interior of that uh, red and white one, I'm thinking. Lovely little red lines and a very classy looking car, um, really. Uh, let's have a look at some of this text anyway. So it's showing this new gear lever. It says gear change, a short centre floor lever permits quick, deft gear changes. Finished in chrome, always ready to hand. And then the ventilation, it's showing a rear quarter light can be adjusted to any degree of ventilation. Both models also have adjustable front quarter lights and a very efficient ventilation system regulated by a, a fascia control. And of course, we love quarter lights on this channel. Further down, it's showing precise steering, a new high efficiency steering unit of recirculating ball unit design gives lighter precision control, one of many advanced technical features. And then lower down, it's got a hydraulic clutch control. Sunbeam system of hydraulic clutch control minimizes the transfer of engine vibration. It gives smoother engagement and an inert clutch pedal, less driver fatigue and easier gear change. So we'll turn the page out again. Again, another huge page it goes through. This time, having a look at this, what is an extremely large boot area. And we'll have a look at a few of these little points and little notes on this. It's a, it's a lovely brochure. Um, looks like it got folded at one time the wrong way though. Um, so we do have this line down it, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, it's not bad condition really. So it's in here, big luggage space, large capacity luggage compartment is a boon for touring and holidays. Spring assisted lid opens easily and a slam type lock with individual key. Luggage and a spur wheel are fully protected against weather and theft. Floor has a protective mat, not the tail lamp clusters in rear fins, the convenient petrol filler and sturdy contour bu uh, bumpers. And yeah, that was one of the features, obviously, of the Series 2, this introduction of these um, sort of almost like American-inspired uh, uh, rear fins. It goes on to talk about the wipers. Uh, clear front vision, the curved front screen and sloping bonnet gives magnificent driver visibility. Windscreen wipers have two speeds to suit all weather all weathers. When switched off, the wipers return to the park position. And of course, a lot of cars at this time, the wipers didn't return to the park position. You had to park them yourselves. Um, it's showing the rear, a full rear vision uh, with the fully wrapped round rear screen. You have a wide angle view of the road behind. And in the transmission, the forward end of the reverse spleen propeller shaft is encased within the gearbox. So ensuring automatic and continuous lubrication of moving components. This is another thing with these older uh, brochures. They go into a little bit more detail about sort of like things, maintenance points and non things you don't have to maintain anymore. A lot more detail than a modern brochure were really they don't want you to know, they just say, you know, take you to your nearest service station. At a time where people actually did the work themselves. And then further down, it's showing the overdrive, available as an extra. Operates on top and third gears, improves still further the rapier's excellent performance and economises on fuel. Overdrive is operated and by flicking a switch on the steering column. 
and then on the lower half of the page it's talking about sports performance a little picture of the engine improved suspension with this nice little graphic and this uh, strength and safety a little another little internal component showing the suspension So here we go, this is the twin carburetor Rally Master OHV engine that now powers the new Sunbeam Rapier. It has been specifically developed to give a livelier sports performance with reliability and economy with a new capacity of 1494cc. It goes on to say it develops 73 brake horsepower and it's saying here the road speeds of over 90 miles per hour. On here it's talking about the all steel unitary construction is the strongest and safest form of body chassis construction. And to match the increased power and speed, the fully independent front suspension has new high rated coil springs and new large capacity telescopic shock absorbers. And then finally on the back page, the specifications which we'll just quickly look at. So I'm not going to read all this, but of course if you do want to pause the video at any time you certainly can do. Interesting array of instruments, speedometer, including mileage and trip, thermometer, oil pressure gauge, fuel gauge, ammeter, and warning lights for headline beep, ignition and flashing indicators. So, well equipped instruments. Um, it's also showing things like uh, accessories, available at extra costs, uh, your Smith's radio mobile or eco radio. And it's showing heating and ventilation, overdrive, white wall tyres, reversing lamp, revolution counter and clock. And then it says for details of the full range of the route special accessories apply to your dealer, which is very cute. And then it gets to uh, the colour scheme. Now I'm not going to read all this colour scheme quite simply because it's so complex but it's saying the first name colour is the predominant body colour and the second is the roof fin and side flash. So for example you could have Windsor blue with Corinth blue with blue grey, pearl grey interior, cypress green, iceberg green with fathom grey, glacier blue upholstery. So it had a really uh, comprehensive colour scheme that you could get to it which I do particularly like very much it makes for a very individual car and it's also saying there is a, a full chassis and body dimensions on a separate brochure uh, and then of course it's showing here that it's the routes service uh, sales and service in 152 countries so there we go, the Sunbeam Rapier. Um, I like to do these older videos. Not many people out there remember these older cars who have got memories or childhood memories of them. Although I'm sure a few of you do have. But I like to put them on the channel because they're very nice historical pieces. Um, and they're nice to compare them with more up-to-date brochures uh, from the 70s, 80s, 90s, etc. But thank you so much for watching today's video, many more car brochure videos to come, so please do like and subscribe, and we'll see you very soon. Take care, and goodbye.